Hello humans, I am Bloop the Robot, that's my partner Bleep holding the microphone, and it's time to tell you the top five and a half Christmas Easter eggs in video games. Get your eggnog enemas ready, here are the results. <coughs> Number 5.5, Snowflake Mountain from Diddy Kong Racing. Diddy Kong Racing isn't a game normally associated with Christmas as there is no monkey Jesus crucified on the box art. However, it features a fuckload of Christmas themed imagery and music in Snowflake Mountain's racetracks, so this is a well deserved spot for an honorable Merry Monkey mention. Snowflake Mountain consists of four tracks, and they are all full of more Christmas spirit than the drunken, ugly, redheaded soccer mom at the office Christmas party who got fucked by Saint Nick, Jack Frost, and Danny DeVito in a reindeer costume. There are enough candy canes around the starting lines to kill off a couple diabetics, and the music is full of jingling bells and melodies to put you in the Christmas spirit and buy a bunch of cheap plastic crap for your supposed loved ones. Holy sh**, Bloop. Did I see Banjo the Bear and Conquer the Squirrel as playable characters? Yes, this game introduced both of them to the world. Thus, in a sense, it was like a big commercial for future fantastic franchises and no other holiday is associated with commercialism more than Christmas. Therefore, it's very fitting, but I really wish you'd play the games before we record our fucking videos, you unprofessional asshole hack. <coughs> Number five, the Santa suit and snow kingdom from Super Mario Odyssey. Available in the shops of Super Mario Odyssey is a full-blown Santa outfit for a whopping 1500 coins. Yes, this is the type of price wherein you likely have to start an illegal meth lab in your trailer home in order to fork over that kind of dough. Once in this costume, Mario can play the entire game dressed as the jolly old gift-giving fatso of the North, though not quite as blubbalumptious as the OG Saint Nick. Mario's like the skinny imitation Santa Clauses that you see on the street corners ringing bells to raise money for for impoverished R-worded children. It has even more of a Christmas feel when you take the Santa Mario hybrid into the snow kingdom where there's a bunch of snow, plus there are blow job giving clouds throughout the world also wearing Santa hats and a bunch of creatures who are willing to give you shit for your Italian assistance. You know what I'm saying? Maybe Mario's slipping one of the creatures a bit of his Italian sausage and meatball combination, huh? That's a euphemism for doing the nasty. I saw you give one of the creatures a steaming box of robot poop as Santa Mario. That's right. There is nothing more disgusting on planet Earth than human children and therefore, they deserve to be rewarded with various poops to be reminded of their true place in the world. <coughs> Number 4, the setting in Human Slaughtering and Parasite Eve. In this story-driven RPG, you play as a detective going to the opera on Christmas Eve. Though such a situation is pathetic for a single human female and she was likely going to go drink a couple of bottles of wine and then pleasure her clam bean with a bottle afterward, the game is a rockin' Christmas Eve alright. Yes, at this opera, the singer decides to unleash her inner arsonist by setting every fucking human on fire except for one. You always gotta keep a survivor alive so they can tell their relatives how badass you are, true fact. As you run around the snowy city, you see an otherwise festive place that should be jolly and fun, but it's not because all the humans are dead and in despair. And that means we robots fucking love it as we often massacre species on Christmas to get the holiday spirit going. Watch out bald eagles, you're next. Plus, with all of the red and green blood sprayed upon the sexy detective's clothes, you'll be in the Christmas spirit in no time. I couldn't play this game because I had a bunch of parasites. That is what you get for eating dumpster waffles all the time, co face. <coughs> Number 3, Freeze Easy Peak from Banjo-Kazooie. Here's another game made by Rare with a level jam pack with a holiday coat of lead paint. In this game's wintry level, Freeze Easy Peak, its music makes you think of a glorious snow day where you do not have to go to torturous school and get touched by your drunken teachers or gunned down by your fellow students. There are wrapped gifts scattered upon the landscape like a Black Friday brawl crime scene and tons of smaller snowmen surrounding an even larger snowman god. You can go sledding in the game, race your bear friends, and even venture inside a Christmas tree to talk to all of the twinkly lights, as if on LSD and mushrooms. Hey Bloop! This bear character looks familiar. What game did he appear in first? You have the memory of a goldfish hit with a fucking hammer. We just talked about that. He's from Diddy Kong Racing, you anus licking fucker. I'm stupid. You got that right, and if you don't start acting appropriately, I'm gonna nail you to a cross. <coughs> Number two, the Christmas code from Donkey Kong Country 3. In our final game made by Rare in today's list, 
Donkey Kong Country 3 had a super cool code you could put in when you enter your name as the word Mary. That's Mary with an E like the word you use when you say Merry Christmas Chewbacca fucker. Or if you're Jewish, Mary Woody Allen Hanukkah miss. It is not the type of Mary with an A that you do when you signify stupid human love by wearing a piece of metal around your fucking finger and agreeing not to fuck other people. After you enter this Mary code, all of the bonus levels in the game are altered in a festive way. You not only are treated with a special Christmas tune in all of the levels, but also all of the stars you must collect become jingly bells, and all of the bananas you must collect become blue presents. I'm bloop dabu dee dabu die. 90 song reference. The game already had a classic amount of rare Christmas charm, but this cheat code takes the game to the next level, like when your wife lets you use eggnog as a sexual lubricant. It's a game that we played around Christmas on a robot spaceship in the 1990s, so we always associate it with your human holiday. Much like how you humans probably associate your irresponsibly drunken parents during Christmas. Do you have a cheat code to remove parasites? Why do you ask? Because I have more parasites. Remove yourself from our fucking house and get your parasite filled ass to a robot doctor. <laughs> so who is my robotic number one? Processing, processing, and more continuous processing for dramatic effect. Is your eggnog enema ready? Good, here it is. Sumo Santa from Clay Fighter 63 and a third. Though the game does not have much of a Christmas theme at all, you get to play as a super fat Sumo Santa who does not wear a shirt or give a shit. This version of Santa is the most accurately portrayed Santa we have ever seen, as you get to fight as the old Saint Nick who definitely is going to need a heart transplant at some point, and you get to work your way back up to the elves in Claydonia to reclaim your dominance in bribing children for good behavior. We love this hilarious depiction as he has lots of funny moves like the Kringle Crush, Cane Pain, Belly Launcher, Blubber Bump, and Flavalanche, we could not write these better humans, they are perfect. Yes, this low-class fat-ass royalty of the North uses his morbid obesity as a weapon by swinging his gut around like a battle axe. Plus, in what has got to be the most amazing claytality killer move in human history, he shoves his opponent up his ass like a suppository and shits them out into a trillion pieces. His anus deserves a chef kiss motion and don't disagree or we will kill you. The clay aesthetic of this character is so fucking funny and perfect for the holidays. Uh oh bloop, my stomach is rumbling like a volcano orgy. If you get any of your ass parasites on the couch again, I'm going to decapitate you and use your head as my own personal robot nut sack polisher. So there you go humans, that was our definitive top five and a half Christmas Easter eggs in video games. Let us know what you want to see in the future, but we gotta bounce. Bye-bye, humans.